damaged by the looks of it, it does seem that, you know, uh, uh, it's a full watertight coup that has been engineered, uh, you know, as we speak, something which was really thought of, orchestrated, interesting. Nobody knew about uh, the no-confidence motion that uh, was uh, pushed three days ago. But suddenly today, those two independent MLAs, which are allied with the BJP, move for the removal of the speaker. It's very interesting how everything is tying in together. But Kamlesh, for someone who's really studied the situation, you know the ins and outs of the Maharashtra government and its various allies. I really want to ask you, we know there's a huddle going on. Sharad Pawar is giving uh, Uddhav Thakre as we speak a reality check. Be graceful, maybe now uh, move out, go for a floor test. The belligerence that we saw today of Aditya Thakre, Uddhav Thakre, was we are going to fight to the finish. But having said that, uh, Kamlesh, will the NCP right now, who controls clearly the deputy speaker post, is it hedging? You know, on the face of it, NCP is with the Agadi, with the Sena. But at the back of it, you know, the NCP is known to pull a rabbit or two out of its hat in the past. Well, yes, uh, see, as Preeti, as you rightly mentioned, the, uh, you know, at the beginning of what you said, you said that you know it's a it's a completely planned uh, coup. Uh, you know, in fact, I was just speaking to someone who is very closely associated with the entire coup. Uh, he said that we just don't have plan A and B. We have plan A, B, C, D, E, F, and G as well. So, in any case, if the victory is us, this uh, this coup is going to succeed. But having said that, the way Aditya Thakre we saw speaking to the party workers. Now, see, they have no options left. Uh, they have to give a pep talk to the party workers. They already seem to be fighting a losing battle in the legislative party. The split is in the legislative party. However, it is going to affect the party at large in days to come. So they have to keep their party workers together because Chief Sena is a party that is based on its cadre and it runs on its cadre. So they have to keep their cadres together. On the other hand, the point you raised about NCP. Now, NCP, though initially was uh, in, a, in a way interested in saving the government, but uh, bringing back the MLAs was the responsibility of Uddhav Thakre because obviously Sharad Pawar had little to do when the 2019 coup happened. Sharad Pawar's MLAs had gone with Ajit Pawar. Sharad Pawar ensured that all his MLAs came back. He sat at his office at YB Chavan Center and called, uh, almost got every MLA back, including Ajit Pawar himself. But this time, uh, it has to be done by Uddhav Thakre. But it seems that with almost 80% of MLAs gone, Uddhav Thakre has little choice left than to uh, just give them offers, which they are rejecting with every passing day. That is not happening. Now, the NCP says if uh, it is just left for the NCP to, you know, friend Uddhav Thakre or fight a battle on his behalf, Majority of NCP leaders are not in favor of that. They say that we will again be confronting with the center again uh, in case there's BJP involved. Why should we go ahead with that? And on, on other hand, when the mm -hmm. rebel camp appears so legally sound, the points that they are raising are very right. legally sound. So in such case, we are left with nowhere, especially the number game, Preeti. The number game hasn't left any choices of the Thakre. Right. Ekna Chinde has managed you know, this coup. He knew that he needs to have two-thirds of... Before I, you go, before I let you go, Kamlesh, before I let you go, I want to ask you a very quick question. Game. You know, um, I know I'm keeping you, uh, yes. but uh, I want to ask you one very quick question. Are we expecting a possible big announcement after this particular meet? Can we now maybe look at the possibility which we were delving in two days ago that Uddhav Thakre might resign, step down, ask for the dissolution of the house? Could either of those be an option? Uh, well, uh, the announcement, you know, it's, it's all up to Uddhav Thakre now what he wants to do because just a while before he addressed uh, uh, some bureaucrats, he addressed that meeting, you know, uh, uh, he was talking about uh, how work should not stop. Uh, uh, one of the sentences uh, during the meeting that Uddhav Thakre uttered was that any good work should not stop for politics reigns and politics are uncertain. So, uh, you know, work should continue. So many uh, bureaucrats who attended that meeting thought that, you know, it was kind of a... Uh, uh, not a farewell, but you know, with the Thakre stone and tenor in that meeting was about thanking everyone for doing everything. So the big announcement might just come, but we'll wait uh, till Uddhav Thakre takes the final call. The announcement has to come. Even if there is, uh, there's one thing which I'll mention. Even if that small ray of hope, I know Uddhav Thakre, he will try and explore that as well. But there has to be some lacuna loophole that comes for his uh, rescue. But that seems to be a Herculean task for Uddhav Thakre. Pulling out a rabbit at this point seems to be difficult. But even Uddhav Thakre or even Sharad Pawar, the kind of uh, legislative experience that uh, Sharad Pawar has, even if a small point that comes to their rescue, they are not going to let it go. Uh, that meeting is very crucial. What, uh, mm -hmm. they, what, what Uddhav Thakre and Sharad Pawar discuss. One, uh, even one small point, they are going to use it to their benefit, but that doesn't seem to be happening. The situation is not in their favor. What comes out of the meeting is very crucial.